so that we could move in together. Um, we met Brian through Facebook actually on a recommendation of some stranger on the internet. Um, after having met with a couple of other realtors, um, we just weren't really um, getting what we needed out of some of those meetings and um, somebody had suggested that they were currently using Brian to sell their house. And uh, so I just kind of looked into him and saw some of his videos. Um, and just really liked everything um, that he had. It looked like it was a really good fit um, for Jeremy's property. In meeting with uh, a lot of the other agents, I think we kind of felt like we were just another house. It wasn't, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, we just didn't get that connection um, that they really thought that it was a great property to sell. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we just we just didn't really get that. And um, I mean, I think we probably have slightly different reasons for why Brian was the best fit. Like I know for you, it was really, um, he just kind of offered the complete package and, and the yeah. numbers that he was talking about were, were right. Yeah. Um, well, and I mean, my, my first impression of Brian was um, he, he walked into the house smiling and he complimented the concrete driveway out front, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, I mean, we look at listings and you see that agents list that as a selling feature and not one of the other agents that we met with even <laughs> acknowledged it. So I think that was just a really good first impression. Oh, yeah. um, of, uh, it was just a really good first impression of Brian. He was just really approachable. He seemed really excited to be meeting with us. Um, really excited about the house. And um, at, at the time that we had realtors coming in, we were in the process of updating and renovating the kitchen. So there were tools, <laughs> tools everywhere. Um, it, like it wasn't the prettiest spot. And Brian was really positive about all of the end results. Um, as opposed to focusing on things that needed to be changed or updated, like Brian was just really like, you guys do your work, um, you know, update the kitchen, make it look as best as you can, and we'll come in and we'll finish it off and make it really look like the home that people are looking for, right? Like he was just really positive um, about, about that. And I think that was a change for us. And um, like really throughout through the entire process of, of getting that uh, finished and having his team come in and do the staging. Um, again, just like really positive the entire time, really motivating. Um, took it to the next level. Yeah, definitely yeah. took it to the next level. Like when we, we left when the, the staging was being done and I really didn't have an idea of what they were going to yeah. do and, and um, came back into the house and, and both our jaws hit the floor. Like quite quite literally both our jaws hit the floor when we amazing. saw how amazing it looked. Like it, I, I think we had expectations that it would look really good from seeing his other listings. Yeah. And like far surpassed. We were taking pictures, sending it to family and friends and like it really was over the top. Yeah. Amazing, like it looked really good. The day of offer review, um, I had showed up first because we were both coming home from work. Yeah. And um, when Brian showed up, he had the sold sign in his hand, and I, I jokingly said to him, "Oh, are you just going to put that up already?" And he was like, "I could," um, which which was pretty pretty fun. He was he had a lot of energy. He was really excited for this, and. Um, yeah, then, then you arrived and we went inside and we started reviewing the offers. And I don't, I don't remember how many there were, but there were a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and he's, you know, he's flipping through them and showing us the numbers. And uh, like the lowest number that he showed us was higher than what we thought we, yeah. we would get. Higher than this. By quite a bit. Um, 
And so, you know, he's just going through the offers and flipping them over and flipping them over. And Jeremy and I keep looking at each other. And, and I think at one point in time, <laughs> you looked at Brian and said, how high is this going to go? And um, so it was just really, like, we just, it was just honestly a lot of fun. And I think made us feel both really accomplished and, and really good about what, like, what we had done with Brian as a team um, in terms of, you know, selling and, and accomplishing our goals. Um, so yeah, I mean, he ended up putting this old sign on the front lawn, and I think we were both smiling from from ear to ear, and like really just a big success. Yeah, turned out great. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, Brian, uh, as a person, is just really positive, and I mean, he's definitely throughout this process of selling um, your home and then looking sort of for an next spot become become a friend and. Yeah. I think, um, you know, really supportive for whatever is best for us and what we're looking for. Um, I mean, he's super easygoing, really just like, don't worry about that, that's for me, um, which is, is good for me because I tend to overthink everything and, and so he's just really, just a really good support um, to have when you're, you know, looking to do one of the biggest things that you will do in your life, buying or selling a home um, for your family. So it's really great um, to just have Brian as, as part of our friend community and, and providing that real estate service. Mm -hmm. Brian, as a real estate agent, is really, I think, the complete package because, I mean, you want somebody who knows the business well and can advocate for you from that, you know, financial, legal, decision-making perspective. Um, and I think a big part of that is you need somebody that you can trust. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I mean, when we sat down with Brian, first time meeting him, everything that he was telling us was consistent. Um, consistent, supportive, positive, like just really trustworthy. And, and at no point in time have, I, have we felt any differently about Brian's abilities. Mm -hmm. um, as a real estate agent, and I think that is really important. And I, I'm not sure that when we met with the other agents that we got that impression. Like it yeah, was very sure. much, it was very much just like they'd come in and they'd cash out our house and they'd leave. And um, it was just the numbers were the numbers, and there was nothing that we could kind of contribute to that. But I think, I think Brian was really into what we can do to make this the best sale possible. Yeah. Right, like just really, what new knowledge does he have? What physical abilities do we have to fix things, renovate things, make them look perfect? Um, what can his team do? Like, how can we photograph this place? Um, how can we get rainbows in the shots behind <laughs> behind the house while yeah. we're taking the video? Um, and so, just really, yeah, just like really, uh, just all around a, a nice, a nice person and a trustworthy person to to know. It's been, it's been great working with them and. Look forward to buying the next house with them and yeah, selling definitely. this place. And like, selling the next house yeah, and then buying right. the next house. Um, There's probably going to be a few more. Probably going to be a few more. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, I think I mean, I, I. What can you say about Brian? He's just a really, he's great at what he does, and he's a he's a good friend. And I think mm -hmm. I trust that next steps will, as far as real estate goes, will be good for us because he's part of the team. Mm -hmm.